What's up guys and welcome to today's video. This is a full day of eating with myself. I thought it was due an update because I'm out here in Dubai. Things have changed a little bit. My routine has altered slightly so I will show you what I do to keep myself in shape, to keep lean and to keep healthy. So this is my local spot. Carefur, Carafur. I don't know how you pronounce it. I think one thing I've learned about traveling is I'm absolutely horrendous at pronouncing foreign words. But anyway, I would see this you know, as my Tesco Express or Sainsbury's local case. It's got everything that I need, the essentials, but a few things which I don't have, but pretty ideal really. I'm the type of guy, I don't want to go walking absolutely miles to find my local shop, or to be honest, even just driving there. I just want to go in, get my essentials, and go back to my apartment. Right then, so this is the shop in all of its glory. I think all of this came to a total of around 70 pounds, which is around $90, which is definitely probably more on the expensive side of things. But since it is literally downstairs on my doorstep, it's very convenient, you know, and I can, you know, afford it. So it's okay. If we quickly go through everything, we have the fish. I'm gonna be mostly eating chicken and salmon, because that's what I like to have. Um, when it comes to like chickens and stuff, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the standard of chicken here is pretty high, but if you are moving to a foreign country, I'd probably do a bit of research because obviously, you know, the standard of chickens may not be as good as where you came from. We have some fruits, vegetables, couldn't find any asparagus, that was pretty weird, but I have got asparagus from there before. Got some almond milk. I like to get the sweetened one because it just tastes nicer. It makes everything taste nicer. It has more sugar in it. A little bit more calories, but hey, that is just the way it is. Got some fruits and nuts to go into the oatmeal, which I'll be preparing. Leafy greens, packets of rice. These are definitely gonna be more expensive. So I actually bought a big chunk of dry rice because I'm gonna be doing more of that preparation. We have some sauces here as well. The seasonings, absolutely shocking selection of seasonings. I think if someone was to ask me what do I miss most about London or being in England, it's just like the brands. Like, you know when you walk around, you know which brands you like. Whereas here, I haven't heard of almost any of these. So it is gonna take a bit of time for me to get used to this and you know the things I like and don't like. Eggs, organic eggs. Generally speaking, you know, if you don't understand absolutely anything in the language, the Arabic of things on the shelf, I just tend to go for the things which are a little bit more expensive because it's more likely going to be higher in quality. It's not always going to be the case, but it probably is going to be the case. Uh, I've got some bottled water as well because I'm not sure about the tap water here. Uh, I think it's fine to drink, but can't be asked taking the risk and then being glued to the toilet for five days straight. A couple of other things which I already had, oatmeal, another pack of rice and some honey just to make my oatmeal a little bit sweeter if it needs to be. There is one thing missing here. There's a few things from bulk powders which I would get, like the nuts, the protein powders, a uh, few other things like that. This is literally all I have left from bulk powders right now. It's a very, very sorry small bag of vegan protein powder, but they are sending a very large care package on the way. So more likely gonna be the case that I'll be doing most of my shopping from here. Anything which I'm missing or any sort of home brands which I do not have, I'll be going to another shop. So first meal of the day almost always is going to be the omelette. I love having eggs in the morning, that's just the way it is. Now when I was back in England, I did master my little omelette routine. However, it's a little bit different over here because I have different seasonings and you know, I don't know how the eggs are gonna turn out. So we're gonna first of all start off by cutting the egg into two pieces. <laughs> no, we are gonna be using four eggs for my omelette. I would sometimes use egg whites, uh, but I don't have any at the moment because bulk powders haven't sent me it yet. But usually I'll just have maybe some onions, some pepper, some garlic, just to make the omelette taste a little bit better. I don't normally track these because realistically the calorie content isn't that high, so I wouldn't necessarily stress about it unless you really are the type of person that loves to know exactly to the exact calorie, how many calories you're consuming. So here we go, four eggs, spinach. Not my best omelette, I'm not gonna lie, but this is gonna taste 
very, very average, but you know, it's just gonna do the job for now. First meal of the day, omelet, spinach, bang, down, and then we'll be eating again in a few hours time. Okay, if I need anything which that little supermarket doesn't offer, then I will go for a 15, 20 minute walk into the marina, which is just behind my apartment building. And there's the big Dubai Marina Mall. So 15, 20 minutes, nice, leisurely walk in the sunshine, get my step count up, hopefully it won't melt. Well, obviously I'm not gonna melt at this time of year because it's not warm enough, but when it gets to March and April time, I'm sure it'll be a very different situation. We also have here Pier 7, which is a lovely destination to take a female on a date, if you want to take a female on a date, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's got a few nice restaurants as well, went to Asia Asia, that is very good, highly recommend. So in the mall they've got a massive Waitrose which is pretty expensive, not gonna lie, but it does have a wide selection of options. To be honest, if that was closer to my apartment I would do my main shop there, but I don't want to be walking back home with a load of bags. So I've just got a few essentials, some asparagus, frozen berries, beetroot and a big packet of tampons. So another meal which I'll have is the salmon fillet with some rice and some asparagus. This is about 250 grams here. What I absolutely j'adore is teriyaki. So a bit of teriyaki onto the salmon is, well this is gonna be pretty awkward because it's not gonna pour out, is it? It's not exactly massively calorie dense, but just be careful if you are dieting because the calories can add up. Oh goodness, that'll do. So just spread this onto the salmon evenly. You can add a bit more seasoning to it if you want to, but I think this is this is gonna be good enough. So that'll do. I'm going to wrap it up in a tin foil just to keep the moisture in there. And then we're gonna, I don't know if you can tell, but when it comes to Christmas wrapping, I'm terrible. So we put this in the oven and let that cook for about 12, 15 minutes. I just check on it every now and then. Okay, so quick summary of the supplements which I'm taking. I don't actually take these around with me everywhere I go. I just wanted to change the scenery a little bit. We won't go into too much detail about everything because we'll be here all day, every day. But what we have roughly around, you know, evening time, I've got my chelated magnesium. I've got my zinc piccolini. Uh, we have vitamin D3. This is pretty strong, 5,000 IU. I've done videos on this before, whether or not it's necessary. Apparently I'm due to my genetics, a little bit deficient, but how deficient you are, you're only gonna know unless you have your blood work done. So I don't have these every single day, but every other day, something like that. B12, again, that was something when I had my uh, genetic test done. Uh, the lady, nutritionist, recommended that I have some B12 into my diet, so I have them almost every day. I have greens powder, There's no specific brand which is the best, just powdered greens, which kind of acts as a backup in case I'm not getting all my greens from the foods which I'm eating. And then we also have in here, it doesn't come in this by the way, but I have lots of fish oils, okay? The fish oils, I will have three of these a day and I usually have them with one of my meals. And that is a quick summary of the supplements which I take. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, for the past four weeks, I really haven't been tracking, okay? A combination of the fact that, you know, when it was leading up to Christmas, that whole Christmas festive period with all the Christmas meal and things like that and the combination of me coming here, I didn't really track anything. And as soon as I got here, I was far too excited. I had far too much choice of food on my doorstep that I got into the habit of eating out quite a lot. So there was no tracking done whatsoever. Now, it's possible for me to maintain a decent shape by eating out and trying to be smart with the things which you pick. But honestly, when I've seen my physique sort of change over the past month, I would kind of say that it's kind of deteriorated ever so slightly. So I feel like I've lost a little bit of size. I also feel like I've gained a little bit of fat. I just feel like a little bit squidgy. So we'll have a look. This is current condition. I mean, obviously it's not bad, but it's like I just feel squidgier than usual. And I have noticed when I've been training as well, 
not that strength has been down, but just the pump which I get in my workout, like the pump has not been as savage as it usually is when I'm like preparing the majority of my meals and getting lots of good quality food into my system and a wide variety of nutrients as well. So this is what we are looking at right now. My goals, I'm not looking to get too much bigger. I just want to be aesthetic. Obviously I'm going to be outdoors by the beach a lot of the time this year. So I just want to look leaner than I am now. So in order for me to do that, I'm probably going to be consuming to begin with around 3000 calories. Okay, I have been getting into the routine of meal prepping for the past few days, so it's not that I need to go on a drastic cut or anything like that, but I'm going to do 3,000 calories for the next week, see how that goes, and then adjust based on my results. So a lot of you guys, when it comes to deciding what macros you should be on, you know, sometimes you might not know the exact numbers, you just have to pick one, figure out the macro split, the ratio, the protein, intake, etc. Do that for one week, do it as consistently as possible, and then a week later, track your progress, and then make adjustments if you need to. So then at some point I will be having my oatmeal. I bought these scales from back home. Obviously it can fit in my suitcase. So scales aren't necessary when it comes to weighing out portion sizes. Oats, you know, doesn't really matter about the brand. Oats are oats. And I'm gonna have sweetened almond milk because it does make it taste a little bit better. If you've ever had... If you've ever... Oh my God. If you've ever had oatmeal with water, Oh my God, it's absolutely horrendous. Don't do that to yourself, it's, it's just not worth it. It still tastes good if you get the almond milk or cashew milk or coconut milk, uh, which is unsweetened. So I'll probably have about anywhere between 60, 80 grams of that, put it in the microwave, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some nuts and dried fruit on top of it as well. I'm not gonna need to add any honey, I don't think, because it's gonna be sweet enough. So it's a nice little mix of random things here, but should add a little bit of crunch to the oatmeal and a little bit more sweetness. Oh God, it doesn't look like much, does it really? How many grams is that? 20 grams. And that, my friends, is my, my oatmeal. Okay then, it's gym time. We are here at Train Strength and Fitness. This is one of my favorite gyms in Dubai. Good equipment, good music, good vibes. It's leg day, let's go. That is the leg workout done. It took around 70 minutes. I'm gonna go back home now and eat. I am not remotely hungry right now. Probably will be in about an hour. In fact, I will be absolutely starving in an hour's time. So let's go back and have the last meal. So here we are outside of Progetto Acai. Leg session done and dusted. It took us about 30 minutes to get here. So man has built up an appetite. This is one of my favorite spots. It's literally about a 10 minute walk from my place. Very healthy. I have some weird addiction to poke bowls at the moment. So. I'm having a couple of these a week, but healthy ingredients, so it's okay. I'm trying to calculate how many calories is in this. I have no idea, really. They also do very good bowls of acai. Let's go and have a look. Right, so I've decided from being out here, from now on, I'm gonna follow a rule of 80-20, right? So 80% of the time, I'm gonna be preparing my meals or consuming meals, which I have prepared or know the macros of. The other 20% of the time, I'm just gonna eat out because I'm a big fan of eating out. Like, especially here, I can just sit outside, either enjoy the atmosphere or just people watch. The weather's nice, so why the hell not? Now, the problem is, which I've experienced this before, like, you know, I've been out here for two weeks. The first two weeks, every single meal, I ate out, okay? And it's been nice. Of course it's been nice. It's been expensive, I'll tell you that. But the problem is, I have absolutely no idea what my macro intake has been. Obviously, like I know my stuff, but sometimes when it comes to estimating things, you just don't know, you have no idea, okay? Prime example, the other night, went to Cheesecake Factory, and I was like, right, okay, I'm gonna keep it, you know, a little bit healthy, so I'm gonna have a Thai chicken curry. It looked healthy, you know, you can see on the video, it looks quite healthy. Guess how many calories was in that, yeah? I thought it would be like, oh, you know, probably got quite a bit of calories from the cream and stuff. I thought maybe a thousand calories. Checked online. 1,830 calories in that curry. Absolutely outrageous, okay? You just, goes to show you have no idea how many calories in the food which you're consuming when you eat out. And like I said before, 
you know, if I'm doing that a lot of the time, I'm either going to be drastically over my calorie intake or drastically under. And the macro split is going to be all over the place. Like with that curry, it would have had a fair amount of protein in, but the fats would have been sky high with all the ingredients that went in it. So I will from now on, whether it be eating all of my meals prepared five days of the week and eating out two days of the week, or four meals of the day I'm going to be eating in or preparing myself, and then one meal I will eat out. And particularly, because I've just trained legs now, I've, it's probably one of those workouts where I've burnt the most calories, so that's when I will more than likely eat out and almost like reward myself for my hard efforts. If it's been one of those days whereby I haven't been exercising as much or the step count is lower than usual, or it's a rest day, probably not gonna eat out. I'll just really be a little bit more strict on those days. Okay, so it looks absolutely delicious, but again, we don't know how many calories is in it. And I'm, you know, judging by what's in here, we've got avocado, fatty, salmon, which is fatty. We've got some crushed walnuts, again, fatty, and quite a bit of rice. So, you know, knowing my luck, it's probably around 1,000 calories at least, but, you know, it fits roughly into the macros today. We had a solid leg session, so it's not gonna do too much damage. Right then, when it comes to me calculating my macros, I have made myself a little spreadsheet. I made this back in 2013. Still using it to this day, I prefer it to my fitness pal and all the other ones out there. Basically what I've done is put all the food which I eat on a very regular basis, input all the data, put some mad formulas together and it comes up with this. Okay, so this is basically a full day. If I was eating 3,000 calories, that's 3,042, put it that way. I've got meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four, five, six. For those people who always ask me where can I get this spreadsheet from, you will have access to it if you purchase the hypertrophy programs on my website. So I suggest you do that. When it comes to the order of these meals which I've eaten, okay, I don't specifically stick to the same orders each day, okay? It really doesn't matter, I can mix it up, you know, whatever I feel like eating, depending upon when I'm training and so on, okay? The days can vary. Like, a lot of people when it comes to like meal prep and stuff, they, have to, they feel like they have to be so regimented, like everything has to be like, oh, I've got to eat every two hours or every three hours. No, you can afford to be a lot more flexible than that. The most important thing is to make sure that you're hitting your target calorie intake for the day and your protein target for the day. The fats and the carbs can afford to vary, okay? It doesn't matter if you're 10, 20 grams off, it doesn't make a huge difference, okay? So keep that in mind. So obviously I've just been out and had that Pokeball, which was roughly a thousand calories. So that's taken me up to around about 3000 calorie mark. If I had not eaten out and I'd had a full day of eating in, preparing all my meals, I would have just had an extra meal of chicken, sweet potatoes, some vegetables, and anything else which would basically have taken me up to the 3,000 calorie mark, which you can see on the spreadsheet. So, yeah, I'm getting back into the routine of going out there, buying my food, doing the meal prep. Honestly, literally, when you just do a few days of that, everything just starts to fall into place. You have more energy, you feel more alert, your workouts are better, you have like more of a pump, your body composition just improves. If, this is an if, if I don't enjoy meal prepping, because as I've kind of, just got older, I do find prepping meals a pain in the ass and I don't like shopping for food either. I just think it's a complete waste of time, but it's something which needs to be done. So I'm gonna look into see if there are any other services in Dubai which will help me out with this little inconvenience. So either I'm gonna find someone to actually go and do the shop for me because there's actually apps out there where people will literally go and do stuff for you and they'll do the entire shop and bring it to your door and then I can just prepare it. Or I might look into a meal prep company and give that a try. I've never tried meal prep companies, but there's a few out here, I've heard good things. So that maybe will be another video in the future. But thank you guys for watching. That is a full day of eating with me, Mikey T. Hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. For the love of God, like this video. See you soon.